Hello everyone, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming, bringing you another Diablo 3 video. It's that time again for the weekly challenge video here in Diablo 3. So to this week, we win a Witch Doctor, and it looks like we are going to be doing something with the Legacy of Dreams. So let's take a look. So here's our Legacy of Dreams. What all are we working with? Some of these items I've actually never seen before here, like these shoulders, I've actually never seen these before. So corruption, um, there's no actual unique affics. Same with our gloves here. So we had some Pender's Purchase. Okay, what are we actually doing here? So we're rocking Pain Enhancer. So critical hits cause the enemy to bleed for big damage and it gives us a frenzy stack uh, each time we put a bleed on an enemy. We do not have a gem in our neck, so we're just rocking Legacy of Dreams with Pain Enhancer. We got a gem of ease here in our main hand, so we're going to be throwing Plague of Toads here, and they can explode twice, so that's what that looks like. We have Aquilicura, so we want to stay at max um, mana for damage reduction. And we have the tall man's finger, so we get zombie dogs, so we get one big dog instead of a bunch of little ones. And we're going to automatically summon a dog to our side every two seconds here with Homoculus. And then our boots, we're going to get movement speed based on missing life. And yeah, and then we get armor here from Lakumba's ornament. And our actual spells, let's take a look. So we got Spirit Walk, so that's a bit of movement there. We got acid bombs, so we're just going to drop acid on top of things, so that's pretty cool. But that's going to eat up a lot of mana, so we're going to want to throw our toads to get our mana back. Uh, we have soul harvest, so this is our armor. You want to use that on stacks of enemies because that'll give our armor count. And then we have our fetish armor here. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working with. And then we're also using haunt with... Poison Spirit, so that's pretty much what we're working with. So let's just go over here for some fun. So we're going to use Soul Harvest there. So we got our three stacks. That's going to be our, our armor, our survivability, drop some poison on top. Our army is going to do their thing. And we're just going to throw some frogs to get our mana back and throw some Poison Spirits. Probably use that on our single target. And yeah, so this looks like the build. Looks like it'll be a little bit of fun here. we got some various spells that we're going to cast so let's take a look and see how we do in the rift all right here we go let's give this a whirl so oop, jump right in let's get our army out there's going to be a blue champ pack right here so let's jump on top of it throw down some poison blow it up we're going to quickly move down there's going to be a conduit right here jump on it blow this guy up just throwing our, when there's a big group of them, I'm trying to throw the acid on top of them. But right now we're definitely trying to make the most out of our conduit. There's going to be another champ pack just up here. There they are there. Again, the maps are provided, highlighting where we can find those champ packs and elites. There's two more on this level, so we're just quickly making the most out of that. Conduit's over, going to drop the Acid Cloud down on them. It's going to be a Power Pylon right here. And then we're just going to dip up because there's a champ pack up here. So we just want to jump up here, blow it all up, collect our stuff, keep Mosey on down. So now we're just going to make a clear shot to the end of the level. Dropping some clouds and throwing some frogs to keep our... Our mana up. There's a there was an elite in there. He just kind of got demolished. So we're gonna quickly move on past. We're flying. We're flying. It does take about three floors to clear and get through this. Just slowly moving here. Not the quickest build speed wise. Mind you, I am lollygagging a little bit here by throwing some acid and everything all over. All right, that's good enough for that. Let's move on to the next floor. It's a quick floor. Somewhat quick, I guess I should say. There's only two elites on this floor, which is a little bit unfortunate. There is a shield pylon just up in front that we're gonna run and click on. And here's one of the two elites, so. 
throw some po acid cloud down on him, some frogs, put up a couple haunts, make sure that we got all the damage. There we go, moving on. So now there's nothing really until we get near the end of uh, this map. So we're just throwing down some acid when we get some bigger groups. And of course, uh, also the elite at the end of this, which is just going to be up here. Of course, it has to be a juggernaut, but we're going to have our fetish army here available soon. So we're going to use that. It's just around this corner where we'll find the juggernaut. All right, a little bit further. <laughs> I'm saving the fetish army because I want to use it on the juggernaut. Still trying to get some progress here. Is this where we are? Oh, I'm almost out of mana. Here we are. Throw out the fetishes. Put up a couple haunts on him for the increased damage. And we're just going to blow him up. Now we're just going to move on. This is the end of the map. So we're almost through here. Uh, there should be a... Yep, there he is there. There's a champ... Or, sorry, an elite right here. Quickly blow him up if possible. There we go. Got rid of that. Almost out of mana. Almost spawned the boss. Charge forward. Trying to get this last little 4% to get the boss out here. Sometimes it's always painful. Oh, there's another champ pack here. Actually, didn't know they existed last time I spawned the boss before this. So let's get these guys down here. It's precious time. All right, here's the boss. So for this, I want to throw up Haunt to get the debuff on. And then just I'm spamming it with frogs because I think that's the best way to go here. And boom, just like that, we're done. Awesome. Four minutes. So two and a half minutes quicker than the time that we needed. So I think that's pretty good. Let's see how we did. So we are back. Let's see. Success. Thank you very much. Let's see how we did here. Uh, four minutes and six seconds. I'll take it at number eight. I mean, I'm still 40 seconds off the lead here, but I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with that. So as always, if you have any questions about the build or the video, just let us know. And as always, we appreciate any likes and subscribes and shares. We enjoy bringing you good, these guys' videos. Uh, we hope you find these helpful. If there's anything that you'd like to see in these kind of weekly videos that we're doing, let us know as well. We appreciate your feedback and we do our best to incorporate that into our future videos. As always, good luck out there and see you guys next week.